Hello everyone, uh, this is the Cool Geek and uh, this is the uh, f this is the last video that we have seen is how we are going to do the calculations for the HR dashboard that we are uh, trying to build. So the we have uh, already built the calculations. The data is also uh, built uh, is already there uh, from which we build the calculations. If you have not watched the previous two videos, uh, please go ahead and watch the plan and project uh, uh, for this video uh, and also the calculations video also as well so uh, now we are going to build the chart so first of all I am going to build uh, the year and employee chart it's, uh, it's a very simple thing you select the employee column and say insert a column chart there now make sure you can de you can delete this one also you can select the um, data label here um, and change it to the year that we have here so that's chart one what I'll do is I'll move the chart to my HR dashboard and say ok which brings up my chart here I'll just place it here the second the second chart that we are going to build is the headcount and that would be coming from the department and the total number of employees so how can we do that is select the department hold down control while you select the number of employees as well and then say insert go to a bar chart and insert a bar chart you can delete the uh, thing here and same process again move the chart to my HR dashboard and say ok We'll uh, organize these charts later on. We'll move on to the employee HR calculations. Now we need to calculate the the salary distribution. So uh, before salary di distribution, let's go ahead and calculate the salary and the bonus structure. So I would select the department salary bonus and overtime. Go to insert and insert a bar chart. That is a 3D bar, or it would be a stacked chart stacked chart rather so I select that and you would see the same thing I will delete that and this is how my calculations look like so oh, I would little bit adjust this one uh, to give it much more better room space there I would rather decrease the size which would give it a particular better picture and also I would add a zero here to give it a much more better look right so we have our data here um, now we can move this also chart to our section there select the chart say move chart and move it to the HR dashboard and say ok so I would place this one just below my HR dashboard Right, so this is the salary distribution I got the number of employees or let's call this the head count as it is head count num employees employees by higher year okay and that brings us to the last chart that we have here is the second last chart brother <laughs> number of employees by salary so that would be again going here and that would be employees by salary delete the employee count here select it and delete it move the chart to my HR dashboard say ok I'll place that here now my main four charts are ready I would also need to add my fifth chart which is nothing but the sales distribution chart which comes directly from the sales data so I would simply uh, go to the HR dashboard insert a salary distribution chart something like that say here select data add and I would say uh, let's say salary um, okay. 
Okay, so I would rather select this value and say okay. And okay. I will delete this one, delete this one. And also I can add a chart title. Call it salary distribution. So that gets my fifth chart in place. So now our, our um, dashboard is almost done. All I can do is I can simply merge few of the cells here. Uh, merge and center. Increase the font size and call it HR dashboard. Increase the font and make it bold. So that's HR dashboard. But the only thing that is left out now is this particular thing. So I need to get this thing working so it is nothing but the employee inf info based on the selection what it does here is I have a list box um, once upon selecting it gives me the particular employees name his department when he was hired salary bonus or time number of days and his performance so what this basically does is it we look we look up Dave Gabriel ourself in the employee database and fetches the data accordingly so in the next video that we are going to show you I will complete the HR dashboard and um, and we will build this small functionality that is the employee inflow uh, dynamic inf info section uh, for completing the whole dashboard uh, thank you for watching this video once again you can mail me on the email IDs provided here fxxl at gmail.com or kunal at fxnike.com um, uh, if you have not watched the pre videos uh, prior to this please watch, please watch them before you can watch this video